Today's Sport Trigger tutorial is entitled JSON Web Token Authentication Bypass via Algorithm Confusion with No Exposed Key. To solve the lab, we must access the admin panel and delete the user Carlos. As with the previous lab, we know that the sign-in mechanism is vulnerable to algorithm confusion attacks. If you do not know what that means, I recommend you watch the previous tutorial, JSON Web Token Authentication Bypass via Algorithm Confusion. In short, in JWT libraries, the verify method often determines which algorithm to use based on the algorithm parameter in the token's header. A simplified declaration of the verify method might look something like this. When the server developer assumes that the token will always be signed with an asymmetric algorithm, such as RS-256, and passes a public key to the verify method, the method will misinterpret the public key as an HMAC secret key if the algorithm parameter in the token's header is HS-256. This means that what we need to do is find an exposed public key. Unlike with the previous lab, this time the public key is not exposed, as stated in the lab's title. Because of this, we will need to derive the key from a pair of existing JSON web tokens. First off, make sure that you have Burp's JWT Editor extension installed. Go to Burp Extensions B App Store and search for JWT Editor. Select the extension and click Install to install it. Now access the lab and log in with the provided credentials Winner Peter. Log out and log in again to get a second JSON Web Token. Back in Burp, go to Proxy HTTP History and look for the two Get My Account requests. Send them both to Repeater by pressing Ctrl R. In Repeater, observe that we now have two JSON Web Tokens. We are going to use them to derive the public key. For this, we will be using the provided GitHub repository. I will add a link to it in the video's description. Now, let's clone the repository. Click the Code button and copy the URL to Clipboard. I'll just clone it to slash options, git clone, paste the link here. Now go to the standalone directory in order to use the provided Docker file. Run the first provided line of code from the readme file to create a Docker image from the Docker file. Once the image is built, we can run a container using the second line of code. This will start a bash shell, giving us an interactive terminal session inside of the container. Finally, we just need to execute the JWT for Jerry Python script, passing in the two JSON web tokens from earlier as arguments. The script has found two possible values. Each of these is possible, but only one will match the value used by the server. To find out which one it is, we will need to copy the tampered JSON web tokens, replace the token in our My Account request, and see if we are still logged in as winner. It looks like the first one works, so the first modulus is the one we need. Now we would need to create a new symmetric key by going to the JWT Editor tab and pressing the New Symmetric Key button. This key should have the HMAC secret key, represented by the K parameter, set to the modulus, the N value of the RSA key. Then we need to sign the JSON Web Token with this symmetric key. If we create the key and sign the JSON Web Token with it, it will not work. This is because the public key you use to sign the token must be absolutely identical to the public key stored on the server. This includes using the same format and preserving any non-printing characters like new lines. For the purposes of this lab, we know that the server stores its public key as a PEM file. Back in the console, we can see that the PEM key has been written to a .pem file. Let's get the key. Copy the PEM key and go to Burp's decoder to base64 encode it. Paste the key here and select encode as base64. Copy the resulting string and go back to the JWT editor tab. Let's create a new symmetric key, but this time set the HMAC secret key to our base64 encoded PEM key. Click OK. The new key has been saved. Finally, let's sign the token with our new symmetric key. For this, go back to Repeater and go to the JSON Web Token tab. Click the Sign button at the bottom of the screen. 
Select your newly generated key. Make sure that the algorithm is set to HS256 and also select Update Generate Algorithm Parameter from the Header Options section. This will set the algorithm parameter to HS256. After sending the request, you should still be logged in as winner, which means that the server has accepted the signature. All that's left to do now is to try logging in as the administrator. Change the value of the subject to administrator and resign the JSON Web Token. Also go back to the Row tab and change the value of the ID parameter to administrator. Send the request. We are logged in as the administrator and now have access to the admin panel. Change the request line to get admin to navigate to the admin panel. We see a link to delete the user Carlos. Go to the delete username Carlos page by adding the path to the request line. We get a 302 found response. If we go back to the admin page, we can see the message user deleted successfully. Also observe that the delete username Carlos path is no more. Back in the browser, we also see that the lab has been solved. This is it for today's tutorial. See you in the next one. Bye!